And now for my next trick, I'm going to make a hair loss video showing on any given morning what my hair looks like when I first wake up. Now something I've pointed out recently and reminded you of is that my hairstyle, which is very basic, by default downplays my actual receding hairline. And I will expose my forehead and my receding hairline more so in just a moment, but let's just get a sense in general. Because when you wake up, your hair is not gonna be in its uh, typically most flattering perspective. So it actually isn't too messy this morning. It could have to be worse about that. Hey, let's just uh, take a look right away. So, now let's check out the actual, from this perspective, from this perspective. So there you go. But I mean, in general, with this hairstyle, I can pretty much even put some hair product in it. And that's, I would say that's even often how I fix my hair. Is I just, well, actually what I should do is make a video here in a minute after I take a shower and just show you how I fix my hair, which is interesting because I had to fix my hair a certain way back when I had that hairstyle where I had it all pushed back. So now that it's much more basic, I still sort of use a method similar to that. I'm just proud that I'm able to have such a, a low maintenance hairstyle and situation. And, and again, I've, I've said that I'm already feeling it as far as, uh, I know that in the near future I'll be shaving my head again. But it's funny because in the what year and a half, year and eight months since I've had my last shave my head, it's just been a constant transition between hairstyle to hairstyle. Which again is is part of really what is my comfort zone when it comes to hair. Have you have you seen the movie? like the new version with Brad the Cooper and Lady Gaga, A Star is Born, that character that he plays, Jackson Maine, is someone who fundamentally cannot be happy no matter what. No matter how good he has it in life, he ultimately can't find comfort in that piece. Now, I would say that's how I am with hairstyles. It's not that I don't like my hair or don't can't appreciate the hairstyle, it's not like that. Even when I was in junior high and high school, I just would not keep the same hairstyle. Fundamentally, I just couldn't find peace with maintaining the same hairstyle. That's a part of my identity it's always been. And maybe subconsciously there was a good part of me that was knowing that I would eventually be losing my hair, so I always prepared for that and wanted to see, and that's why in college I shaved my head for the first time to prepare for worse things at age 38, which I really thought at age by 33 that I would have just such a sharp, defined peninsula like here. And, and when I pull it back, you can see that kind of, it is worse than you think it is. But I was expecting more just like, instead of there being any point, I thought it would just be a strip that would go back and that no hairstyle would be able to even downplay that. That's what I was expecting to happen by 33. And I was expecting a prominent bald spot too by the time I was 33. And just completely noticeable thinning on top by 33. That was in my mind the way I imagined what would happen. And you may say, well, that that's probably some kind of, you know, defense mechanism. Maybe so. But I mean, I always expected that from, I, I want to say, elementary years I just in my mind as a, as a kid 30 years ago what was you know what's going on 30 years ago like Batman the original Batman movie and I got to go see it that summer big big uh, summer for movies uh, Timothy Dalton which I've never seen this one and I'd like to um, James Bond movie and it's a, a license to kill and in that one apparently he goes rogue and goes against the agency and avenges the death of somebody uh, that came out, UHF, a movie by uh, Weird Al. So many movies came out in the summer of 89. It was a blockbuster summer. Uh, but about that time, 30 years ago, right now, 
I that's probably about the time I started realizing, okay, this is what happens to men as they get older. They either go bald or they start noticeably having a changing hairline. So, I mean, seeing that, absorbing that, that was all subconscious. And then in high school, uh, I recognized that that would be my fate. So, that's part of what's really interesting about this, to be so prepared for something that hasn't really happened yet. One of my, hey, that's funny, I just happened to be wearing the t-shirt, Bruce Springsteen. He has a song, came out about a decade ago, and it, it, was, it, it was one of my favorites. Actually, it, it was on an album that was never released as a single. Uh, I think it's called Living in the Future. And he says, don't worry, don't worry, darling. Uh, we're living in the future, and none of this has happened yet. And that's a good way to describe my hair loss situation. I'm already in the future. I'm beyond the future. I'm beyond age 33, five years past it. And what I imagined was going to happen never did. Now, with that being said, I think the healthy part about this is I wasn't fearing that whole time. As I imagined, I would at least be a strong Norwood four uh, by the time I was 33. As I imagined that, I was ready for it. It didn't happen. And that's the irony that you can worry about something. See, for me, I never really worried about it. A lot of guys do. And I think that is often the paradox. The guys that worry the most about, oh no, what if I go bald? When will I go bald? Those guys often don't actually really noticeably go bald anytime soon. And I think for the guys that maybe are the ones that don't really think much about it and if they go bald sooner a lot of times they just accept, they have to accept it sooner for me it's interesting because i don't think i fit into one of those categories for me i always expected i would go bald but i didn't worry about it and then when the time came it didn't really happen now i will not deny that i have diffuse thinning going on which sometimes is more obvious I mean, this is a very well lit room, pure sunlight. It's pretty early in the morning, it's like 7 a.m. But I had expectations that were much worse than this. But with those expectations, I never attached fear and anxiety. And I think that's, that's really what is part of my thesis on hair loss. I've said it before, so many people in the hair loss community are so afraid that they're going to go bald and they spend so much time, energy, and money worrying about it and that it never happens. And it's ironic because they're part of the hair loss community. They're, they're part of the people who regularly watch my videos and say, Nick, I'm not even going bald yet, but I watch your hair loss videos anyway. I don't really know why. And maybe some of them don't worry, but a lot of them do. A lot of guys are daily worrying about hair loss. They have anxiety about it. They're asking, do I need to get a hair transplant, all this stuff. They're worrying about it, and yet they might not ever go bald, but they're part of the hair loss community because they invite themselves in. They let themselves in, and maybe everybody else is like, why are they here? Why are they here? Why, are they here? why is he here? Well, ultimately, you join the community the moment you notice it and start processing it. And the part, really, th these videos about hair loss, and, and I've always said, like I've made a video, I said, you know, do you think I should get a hair transplant? You know, the way you ask that question has nothing to do with me. It's a you reflecting how you feel about yourself and if you were in my situation, but you're putting yourself in that situation. And so I think there's a similar perspective in that. Uh, I'm the guy who actually I'm not worried about my hair. I, I hope I've spent nine minutes making that clear that I was expecting this thing when I was younger. It didn't really happen. And now I'm left with the aftermath of, oh, I'm still, I'm still alive. I, I, I survived the crash. Uh, you know, that, that's a, no, similar, I'm just using symbolism there. But so ultimately what I'm doing is I'm narrating part of your life for you. I'm helping you think out loud about how you feel about your hair. So here's a guy who doesn't actually care and I'm not actually worried, but I recognize that millions of younger men are and i said younger men because most most guys who watch my hair loss videos are definitely younger than me noticeably younger than me i'll say it again you all know my high school class reunion 20th 
uh, class reunion. It's coming up in a few weeks, actually, two weeks from today when I film this video. Two weeks from today, exactly. And with that being said, I've been out of high school longer than many of you have been alive, and I recognize that. So I serve as sort of that, that, that host. Even though it didn't really happen to me, I was prepared for it, and that's the motto I wanna teach. Mentally be prepared for it. And I think if you're mentally prepared for it, you're less likely to be anxious and worry about it all the time. And again, I've said it, when I was 21, it was the first time I shaved my, my head. And it was one of the best exercises I could do. It's something I strongly endorse for anyone out there, especially you guys who aren't even really losing your hair, but you're worried about it. Just right now, shave your head. Just go ahead and do it. Just right now, go shave your head and be done with it because it's an exercise that's going to help prepare you. If you do it now, you can, even if you immediately start going it out, school's not for another month or two, it'll be all right. But ultimately, it's going to look nice. So. I think that's a way to calm the fears you have. If you haven't shaved your head yet, just do it. And uh, if you need extra motivation, you can watch videos I've done on that. Uh, I've made lots of videos about it. And of course, I plan to in the fall do it again. So there you go. I intended to make a video about what my hair looks like when I first wake up. Because often when I shoot hair loss videos, my hair is more, you know, fixed right. But I think it's important too just for you to see well, without that, what do I And ultimately, when I wake up, it's it'd be more like if I just kind of like push my hair back, like I had a, that hairstyle back in May or whatever. So, you know where your comments belong. Right here.